Take a while to turn on. Yeah, we'll change. So. Why don't we leave it on? No, because you don't want that distracting from what's going on. Um, are you going to do this? You're going to take pictures. Pictures. Doing this in a fall. It's going to burn. Paper. <laughs> Too. Isn't there a way to just turn off the bulb? Oh, that'll burn too. Uh, there's a way to. It's actually not hot. Okay, well then put that on. Okay, you ready to go? Excuse me, excuse me. Will everyone please take your seats and we will begin our program? Will everyone please take your seats and we will begin our program? I give everyone a moment just to, you know, get the last minute or d'oeuvres and whatnot and take their seat and we'll we'll begin. See, that's a good laugh back there. You made it. I made it. I was quick. Yes. Okay. All right, I'll just start. Uh, if people are still coming in, please come in. Don't be shy. Good evening, everyone. Let's try that one more time. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. All right, that's fantastic. I know we all have been at work all day and whatnot, and we're here. But I, I, I want to have make sure we have energy and enthusiasm, and uh, we enjoy as we celebrate you all, our volunteers and patrons. Okay? So let's start off with that round of applause for yourselves, please. All right, my name is Mark Jones. I am a Waukegan Park District Commissioner, and I'd like to welcome each of you here to our annual volunteer and patron um, acknowledgement ceremony, special award ceremony. So before I get started, you have to indulge me for a minute. Uh, I have to tell you a really quick story. A really quick story. It won't be long. It'll be really quick, I promise. So I'm getting ready to walk out of the house, and my wife says, why are you wearing a bow tie? <laughs> to which I say, the question is, why shouldn't I wear a bow tie? <laughs> to which she says, as any good wife would, first of all, you look like you're going to the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> Second of all, it's a Thursday night. And third of all, it's February. To which I said, Okay, you're right. But if I don't leave right now, I'll be late. So, even though I, I hope it's okay, but that's really what happened, okay? So that's why I have a bow tie on. I hope it's okay. I just thought that was funny because your wife will let you know when you're wrong, but I still feel good about it, okay? <laughs> All right, so that being said, um, I definitely would like to take time again to welcome each and every one of you because as the old adage says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And I think we all can testify that the Walking and Park District is one of the premier park districts, not in the county, not in the state, but in this country. And that is due to going together with all of you. So we are here tonight to salute each and every one of you who took time out of your day to bring a smile to a child, who took, to took the time that maybe you didn't have to go to an event to assist for our special recreation program. We're here to salute each of you who realize that your life and the way you live it is your signature to the world and your signature should be inspiring. That's why we're all here. And we recognize and appreciate that volunteers don't get paid not because they're worthless, but because they're priceless. And there is no amount of money or pre that we can give you for the time invested and spent to be selfless and giving of your time, energy, and effort. And that's why we're here today, to salute you, our volunteers and patrons. Give it up. 
Now, as, so, as, so I like to break. We like to break things down numerically because that makes it a little bit more tangible. A little more, you, you can kind of understand it. So, out of 237 volunteers who donated 10,325, and we did it down to the decimal, 0.5 hours of time. That's right, 0.5. I'll say that again, 10,325.5 hours of volunteer time that, it, that uh, your contribution rounds up to an astronomical number of $254,937. If we could quantify in numbers your time, you all had a quarter of a million dollars worth of contribution to this park district. And again, we don't go fast alone, we go fast together. So the gold medals we win and all the, uh, the things that we do is truly a testament to everyone in this room. And again, we salute you. So enough from me. Hopefully you had enough time to, uh, to mingle, eat some hors d'oeuvres, have some laughs, eat some friends, shake some hands. And now let's get on to the ceremony, shall we? Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. All right, that's what I want to hear. So without further ado, to keep it going, I'd like to introduce our executive director, Mr. <coughs> oh, wait. I'm sorry, before Jay, Jay, pause. I'm sorry, this is very, very important. I need to introduce the remaining board of commissioners because we have a fantastic board of commissioners. Each and every one of them are dedicated and committed uh, to uh, giving of their time to see that uh, Waukegan Park District is the best district in all the land. So first I'd like to give it up for our vice president and city clerk, Ms. Janet Kill Kelly. Oh, she's, she's over there. Hi, Janet. This all look. Okay. All right. All right. Um, next, we have our treasurer, Mr. Fire Chief as well. We have a lot of dual hats. George Bridges, Jr. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have our other commissioner and restaurateur, business owner, conglomerate, Mr. <laughs> Jeremiah Johnson. If you haven't been to Quonset lately, do yourself a favor. <laughs> Check it out. Or the Valley Buck. That's Jeremiah. And finally, we have our neophyte. She just joined us, but her impact has been tremendous in a very short amount of time. Please help me welcome Commissioner Jacqueline Herrera Hiram. All right, all right, all right. Now, without further ado, Ladies and gentlemen, a warm and robust round of applause for our executive director, Mr. Jay Lerner. He's always a tough act to follow, but I should add this real quick story. When I was leaving the house tonight, my wife said, how's my tie? And she said, it looks great. Sorry, Mark. Anyways, all right, well, this is my chance to share what we've done since the last time we saw you last year here. So uh, I got a long list here. I narrowed it down, but I want to hit some highlights of things that we accomplished this past year as a team here at the Park District. Um, in no particular order, but uh, we put a new playground in at Armory Park. Uh, we did a bike path that connects Bevere Park to Lions Woods that was in uh, conjunction with the Lake County Forest Preserve. Um, we also during that process at Bevere Park, we were able to realign our disc golf course um, at the park. We just recently uh, completed our five-year strategic plan here at the park district. Um, we added new cardio equipment at our fitness center at the field house, new ellipticals and treadmills. Bikes are to come this year. Uh, we remodeled the greenhouse at Bowen Park with uh, help from one of our sponsors. We hired a new grant writer this past year, Ben Richards, he's over here. He applied for over $500,000 worth of grants for the Park District this past year. Um, we had over 200,000 visitors at our Waukegan Sports Park. We are the first Park District in Illinois to uh, have an entire brochure uh, printed in Spanish. We have it on our website currently. Uh, just re here, we had our launch party last night. We have a Park District app, so if you don't have the app yet, go to your app store on your phone and download the app. It's an interactive app. You can check in at our different parks and facilities and earn points, and you can also connect us. It also connects you to our website and all the information on programs and events. 
Um, we reached a new record high at the field house again. I said, I think I said that last year too. Uh, we have 6,700 members at the field house currently. So just to share, before we opened the swimming pool at the field house, I think we had about 3,500 members. So the membership's almost doubled by adding the swimming pool. There's a lot of interest in the pool and a lot more families at the field house. Uh, along with that, uh, some program highlights for you. We had record numbers in our summer camps and our after school program. We had to move our after school program to another facility to accommodate all of that. And we have actually increased our, uh, our participant maximum numbers for next year's uh, summer camp to meet the needs. We had over 800 children visit our field house during our free for all which is during the holiday break each year. It's free for all uh, children here in uh, Waukegan Park District to come to the field house during their break. We had our 20th anniversary polar bear plunge with over 300 participants. We held 27 special free special events in 2018. We have our Go Waukegan initiative, which is an initiative to get people out walking. Uh, we had almost 1,200 participants last year in those events. Um, we've added uh, individual soccer goals in a variety of our parks. I think we did five last year and are going to do the same this year to uh, meet the needs of uh, soccer in our community. We did the Abraham Lincoln pop-up exhibit at our Jack Benny Center. We, um, Brian Escobar is in here, he had 232 uh, historic outreach sessions at the schools and he reached over 7,000 students last year. Uh, another great number is that we had over 2,200 participants in our swim lessons programs in 2018 at the field house. And on top of that number, we had 13, uh, 1,325 second grade students come to the field house last year during the school year. This is an initiative of a second grade field trip where every second grader gets a chance to go have a field day at the field house and they get a swim lessons uh, session and they get some other activities, fitness and fun. And that, um, you know, special thanks there to our Waukegan Parks Foundation for making that happen and Kiefer Swim Products. Uh, Kiefer provides the swimsuits for the children and the foundation raised over $20,000 last year with Partners in Parks and Big Splash event to fund these field trips. And those can, we're in our second year now of doing the field trips. So thanks to them for doing that. And then uh, Josue's got a little slideshow here for you. And we're going to show a couple projects that we recently completed and are working on. First, in June of last year, we opened Clearview Park. Um, yeah, there's Clearview Park. So we did a complete renovation of that park. It was a um, we had received an Oslag grant for that, and we um, added additional funds to it. So if you haven't been over to Clearview Park, come check it out. It's totally renovated. You'll probably want to wait till the snow melts. Uh, but we did add a secondary entrance to that park off of Macquarie. It's, it's close to the public yard, uh, public works, if you're not familiar with that. So there's a new entrance there and a parking lot. Next is our uh, Corinne, uh, Corinne J. Rose Park renovation. Now, if you didn't hear, back in May, we changed the name of Belvedere Park to Corinne J. Rose Park. So that was in her honor if uh, we had uh, changed our... There we go. We can get a round of applause for Corinne J. Rose Park. If you uh, aren't familiar with her, she was a former uh, first female executive director for the park district, I believe second in the state of Illinois, and she was also a park uh, board commissioner for many years. So this is in her honor, and you can see by the pictures, it's an awesome facility that we have uh, designed here. We have a, a giant, uh, Mark Jones likes to call it the Ta Taj Mahal of water parks, but we have a giant water park here, and then we have a splash pad area. The building you see on the left in that photo is a uh, restroom building, concession building, and also has showers for the swimming, or the aquatics uh, features. And on top of that, we have two picnic shelters going into the park, and then Hostway is showing you the uh, new playground that will be going in. It's three-story high playground. It's uh, amazing. We're adding new bocce ball courts to the uh, park as well, and there's a fitness exercise area and additional parking. And that actually begins... Uh, dem demolition actually starts, Scott's tomorrow. tomorrow. So we're getting this party started with that, and we're really excited about it. And once, uh, if you're familiar with 
Belvedere and Lewis Avenue, there's a building on the corner of Belvedere and Lewis. We've never owned that building, but we do now. We just actually closed on it today, so we're, right. we have that building. And we're we're going to knock it down and open up the park there because I, it's so close to the sidewalk, it's over building, so it's going to look really nice when this whole project is done. So that's our very exciting news, and on top of that, uh, the next slide is... Uh, when I was talking about our grant writer, Ben, we received a $400,000 grant, uh, Oslag grant for King Park. So we are going to begin this project later this year. This park um, has a variety of features. If you're not familiar with the site over the years, the park district, we had purchased a variety of homes on, uh, homes on Hemholtz uh, Street or Avenue, and that will that opened up the park to several acres of land. So with that, we're gonna redo the ball diamond, we're gonna put in a half basketball court, we'll put in our first challenge course at any park in Waukegan. We're gonna add uh, more features to the playground, we're gonna add a walking path, and we're also gonna add an additional picnic shelter. So that's gonna be a really nice uh, addition and it'll have a uh, cut through that we'll be able to connect it to Carmen Buckner School as well. So. So that's really exciting. And then last but not least, uh, I think last year I was here telling you that we had purchased the building at 1324 Golf Road, which um, is now open. That's our new administration center. And we, uh, if you haven't been over there, feel free to stop by someday. We'll give you a tour. But it really has um, turned out great. You can see the before and after pictures. It's uh, really allowed us to do a lot more stuff internally with our business operations, our human resources with staff trainings, and so on and so forth. So it's really been great. And, um, you know, we're, all, we're always doing stuff here at the Park District. We got more uh, projects and plans in the hopper, but I think that's enough for now for you. So, um, so without further ado, unless there's any questions, if anyone has any questions here about any Park District stuff, be happy to answer. But if not, I'll um, call Mark Jones back up to the uh, podium. You're going to kind of have to run this. All right. I forgot something in my excitement <clears throat> earlier. And um, I definitely would like to thank our 182 patrons uh, as well, 97 companies, uh, 85 families and individuals. Wow, who donated more than $56,000 uh, to help fund events and support partnership programs. Uh, together we make our community stronger, healthier, and more sustainable. So thank you to all of our patrons as well. All right, so let's go on with our first award, which is our Community Service Award. Um, shall we read the Okay, let's get started. All right, thank you. <laughs> okay, so our first award of the evening goes to Waukegan Main Street. Where is Josh Beetle of Free Brothers Theater? He's right there. Okay, Josh, you come on up. I'll read at the same time. Waukegan Main Street has supported the Waukegan Polar Bear Plunge consecutively for the past five years as a key sponsor. We just celebrated our 20th anniversary of the Polar Bear Plunge this past year, and it's freezing for a reason. It goes, all proceeds go to assist our special, rec special recreation program. And I see Carrie and Julie out there somewhere, and they're awesome with special rec. Uh, their support goes all the way back to 2001 when the Waukegan Main Street was involved as a partner with the Waukegan Park District and the city of Waukegan to host Polar Bear Plunge. Special Recreation is grateful for the long-standing relationship, yearly sponsorship, commitment, and support of Waukegan Main Street for the Polar Bear Plunge fundraising efforts. Having dedicated support and enthusiasm from local businesses, it's what helps the Polar Bear Plunge continue as a community tradition to raise funds for individuals with disabilities in our community. And I just want to say it's not just Waukegan, they come from all over Lake County for our Polar Bear Plunge. And thank you, Waukegan Main Street, and your contribution for what you do. Time, Josh Beetle, walking down the street. 
At this time, I'd like to bring up uh, our superintendent of recreation, Mr. Eric Beverly. I like that suit, sir. Thank you, President. It's always tough to follow Jay and Mark Jones. But I just want to let everyone know I'm a big boy. I got dressed by myself. And I also know that bow ties are stupid. I don't like bow ties. Mark, get a bow tie. All right. All right. No more jokes. First, Give all of yourselves a round of applause. Mm -hmm. You all are a huge part of our success and we cannot do without you. Second, let's give Ralph and the Bonnie Brooks staff a hand because this food was great. <laughs> Last but not least for my thank yous, I want to thank the Waukegan Park District staff and Teddy Anderson, Sally and Elizabeth for getting this event started. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now it's my pleasure to talk about a great gentleman named Chris Lanning. Chris Lanning, where are you? Come on up, Chris Lanning. Chris Lanning is an avid supporter of the Waukegan history and arts. Chris currently serves as vice president of the Waukegan Historical Society Board of Directors. Two years ago, Chris took it upon himself to ensure that the Historical Society would be a part of the annual American Independence Day Parade Chris designed and built the parade flow for the Historical Society. The first year celebrated the 100th anniversary of the creation of the Waukegan Park District. This past year, Chris, Chris built the float that resembled the Waukegan Park District History Museum in celebration of the 50th, 50th anniversary of the founding of the Waukegan Historical Society. Thank you, Chris, for your support of the arts and history of Waukegan. Thanks, let's give Chris another round of applause. And it's also my pleasure to introduce Commissioner Janet Kilkelly, Vice President of the Joaquin Park District Board. Thank you. My 2018 Community Service Award volunteer, Melissa Juarez Ellis. one of the founding members of the Special Recreation Program Advisory Committee and has served as an active member since its inception in November of 2002. Her goal over the past 16 years has been to provide input into staff training, act as an advocate for people with disabilities regarding the choices they have, and help providing the necessary public relations to support the program. Melissa has provided a wealth of knowledge, positive insight, supportive resources, and has always willingly given input on programming for individuals with special needs. Within the past 16 years, Melissa has served in many roles as a part-time staff, active volunteer, and advocate for special recreation programs and services. Melissa deserves praise and recognition for her extended and influential service to bettering special recreation services. All right, thank you. I'd like to introduce Mr. Scott McLean, our superintendent of parks. Thank you. All right, so I was going to do a tie joke, but uh, <laughs> it's getting kind of old. <laughs> so I wanted to uh, invite uh, Jim Clum up to the podium. Jim, if you'd come on up and uh, be part of this with me. Uh, I'd like to... Uh, Jim Clum and I have known Jim for probably 20 years. I've worked with Jim, I've had the honor of working with Jim on our Henry Callahan Bevere uh, Disc Golf Course. And uh, two years ago, Jim and I threw some Texas back and forth and we decided it was probably about time. How are you? 
<laughs> well, it's probably about time to take a look at the disc golf course and make some changes and make it better. And at the same time, and this was back in May of 2017, at the same time as Jay was talking about, we were working on a project with Lake County Forest Preserve on a new bike path that went from Lions Woods through Bevere Park and all the way up into Callahan Park. And uh, at that time, we sat down and said, hey, let's, let's redesign this disc golf course. And, um, and uh, we started to do that. And then I got on the phone with Jim and I said, Jim, you know what? I think we need to wait. This project's kind of getting big and maybe we need to do the bike path first and then we'll come back and work on the disc golf course. So a year goes by. I called Jim back up. Hey, Jim, come on, let's go back and get on this project again. <clears throat> And we started again, and then we decided it was quite evident that we had to do some tree trimming in the south woods there with the bike path because you couldn't see the people on their bikes as you were coming up Macquarie Road. So we stopped the project again. So now we're two years in and finally uh, got together with Jim and we went back out, pen to paper, we walked the park site and Jim helped us redesign and, re and uh, uh, figure out how we're going to put all the, the uh, different types of baskets in and how we're going to design it. And uh, you've been a tremendous help to us. And I'm so thankful that I get to work along with you. And uh, Jim volunteers for cleanup days with us. I think you worked on some bridges back there on the disc golf course. Um, but without Jim's help, we would have never got this course done. And it did take two years. And I want to thank you for hanging in with, the, with us and not getting discouraged because uh, I know it was a long process, so I thank you very much for all your help. Oh, Jim, I also have something else for you. When we redid the disc golf course, we had to put in a new sign because the course had changed and the map was different, so we saved the sign. And I thought maybe you would like to have the old one and you could put it in your man cave, in your garage, and you know, hang out. And then you could, uh, you know, remember all the hard work you did. But this is the old original sign from when we first did the park. And I think you might have been part of that. That would have been probably back in the late 90s or so. So 1997. So here's the sign. You don't need to carry it back, but it will be here. So instead of, instead of throwing it out, I wanted to save it for you. Stick it in your garage, put it in your man cave, enjoy it, okay? Thanks for your help. Thank you. I'd now like to have uh, Commissioner George Bridges come to the uh, podium. Bridges! Oh, right. Thank you, Scott. Hey. Thank you, Scott. Hey. Thanks, Jim. All right, all right. Hello, everyone. Wow, there's a lot of people out there. You guys look good. You guys really look good tonight. Thank you, thank you. All right, I would like to call up for our uh, Community Service Award volunteer, Tina Urich. Please come on up. Yes, I get to talk about you. All right. Tina has enthusiastically served on the advisory committee of the Special Recreations Program since 2012. Tina joined our Special Recs family in 2010 when she approached our partner, Clearbrook. Mm -hmm. Clearbrook as a host site for the innovative volunteer respite uh, Take a Break program. Correct. All right. As a coordinator for the Take a Break program, Tina ensured this respite program serves parents and guardians of children with disabilities ages birth to five years old and their siblings. Tina doesn't just facilitate this program but then refers the families to other walking and park district special recreation programs once the children have transitioned out of the program. Tina provides significant amounts of knowledge contacts and resources to special recreation staff to pass on to our participants. For several years, Tina has secured businesses and corporate partners and many freezing for a reason plungers to join our ever-growing annual Polar Bear Plunge. Tina has been a passionate advocate for special rec recreations. She deserves praise and acknowledgement for all her extra love given to our Special Recreations Program and its services over the past eight years. We want to collectively express our thanks to you, Tina. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get my picture. Thank you. You, you well-deserved, well-deserved. At this time, I would like to introduce John Beckman, our Superintendent of Finance. Thank you, Chief. Appreciate it. Um, tonight, I am recognizing a Community Service Award donor, um, and that is Curate Dr. Pepper. Um, Curate Dr. Pepper, through the United Way of Lake County, donated a large volume of vintage coolers, foosball <laughs> tables, patio umbrellas, and uh, that supported our upcoming family swim nights, which are very popular. I know they just had a uh, Valentine's one. They're planning one for, I think, St. Patrick's Day as well. So check those out. Um, we'd just like to thank them for their generosity and their involvement. Um, Michelle Crombie isn't here tonight, so I'm going to invite Cameron Crombie up to accept the award on behalf of the United Way and Curate Dr. Pepper. Um, we just wanted to thank them for their involvement and uh, their continued support. All right, I have the great pleasure to introduce Jacqueline Herrera Haran. Thank you. I don't have a tie or a bow tie story, <laughs> but when I was getting dressed this morning, <laughs> my son says to me, Mama, why are you wearing a dress? And I said, because I have to go to work and I have to advocate in court for my clients all day. And he said, no, Mama, you just want to be cute. <laughs> so, so it's my pleasure um, to thank you all for the, the time and dedication that you give to the Park District and to talk a little bit about the 2018 Community Service Award to the Waukegan Symphony Orchestra Director Search Committee. The Waukegan Symphony Orchestra Director Search Committee was formed, which was a difficult task of finding a new music director to lead the cultural institution. Members from the symphony um, stepped forward to volunteer their time to be part of this historic event. The committee consisted of the following. Jacqueline Steele, Roxanne Swanson, Laura Lehan, Howard Green, Ricardo, and I'm sorry, Ricardo, Isokovic. <laughs> I'll tell you, they've called me Ms. Groin before, so. <laughs> Rochelle Pitch Pitchman, Lisa Shaw, wow. Stan Bowman, Bart Metalcott. Nancy Fence and Andy Deckers. This committee had to act quickly as the start of the new performance season was only three months away. As a committee, the group worked together to put together a job description and the candidate selection process. Once potential candidates started to send in their applications and the materials, the individual committee members first reviewed the materials on their own and then gathered to discuss and debate each applicant. As you know, that takes a lot of time, looking through them and looking through all the potential candidates. The committee had the difficult choice and ultimately narrowed down the list to 30 applicants. That's a lot of applicants. <laughs> to eight can and then to eight candidates to be brought in for interviews. The committee members then participated in the interview process, all with great commitment. Each interview was around one to two hours plus the time for advanced prep, as well as the post-interviews debriefing. And at the conclusion of the interviews, the committee reconvened to determine the four candidates who would be invited to be guest conductors of the Waukegan Symphony for this season. This work is not done. The group will have to gather again at the end of the season to help pick the next music director of the <coughs> Waukegan Symphony Orchestra. So thank you to the search committee for your de dedication to the Waukegan Symphony Orchestra and for all the work and time you put into this. Thank you very much. Smile. Oh, wait, 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 wait
Ricardo. He's coming. Mm -hmm. Ricardo. Mm -hmm. Ricardo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. One, two, three. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And now it is my pleasure to introduce my colleague, Commissioner Jeremiah Johnson. As you can see, I'm tieless. <laughs> Truth be told, I'm not very good at tying ties. My wife usually has to help me, but she was at work and I was at the field and I was pumping up for a night. So, there you have it. Okay, I'm presenting the 2018 Community Service Award to Cook Mariachi. Do we have any mariachi players in here tonight? Come on, come on. Uh, the Mariachi Estrellas group from Andrew Cook Magnet School under the leadership of Miss Katie Dudley have entertained crowds with traditional Mexican music for many years. The Cook Mariachi performed for Waukegan Park District cultural events, including the Ray Bradbury's Dan Wine Wine Arts and Music Festival and the Day of the Dead. The group is always quite lively and enjoyable. They come in full mariachi attire play various instruments, and sing traditional mariachi song, music and songs. Thank you to Katie Dudley and the students of the Cook Mariachi Group, both past and present, for showcasing traditional Mexican music throughout Waukegan. We, will look, we look forward to more performances at our future cultural events. I'd like to introduce Quincy Baster, Deputy Super Superintendent of Sports, Fitness, and Aquatics. Come on up, Thank you, Commissioner Johnson. Next, it is my honor to have Annette Darden come to the podium as the next recipient for a Community Service Award. Annette? Annette here this evening? All right. Briefly, uh, regarding Annette, Annette contacted the Waukegan Park District in early October inquiring about a cleanup day at Armour and Diversity Park. Along with community members, friends, and neighbors, Annette coordinated and executed a cleanup day on October 20th, 2018. We greatly appreciate the work completed by your volunteers and your efforts supplied in coordinating this project. Six large bags of garbage and eight wooden rails were removed from the park sites. As always, we are proud and thank you for selecting us as a recipient of your time and hard work. So if you see Annette, please be sure to thank her. She's probably doing community service somewhere else right now. Absolutely. Next, I would like to introduce Mike Mayfield, Deputy Superintendent of Recreation and Arts. Mike, it's Community Service Award winner is Scott Vanderbrook. Unfortunately, Scott's not here today. He's a fireman. Mm -hmm. uh, but in his, in his absence, Mark Kohler, are you here today? President. Yep. Yes. Mark Kohler, he's a firefighter union 473 president. And we thank you for coming. Thank you for Scott. Yeah, my wife uh, wasn't home to dress me. <laughs> wow. wow! I like it there, Mark. Nice job, President. <laughs> All right. A little bit about Scott. Scott, along with the Waukegan firefighters, Loco, and their families member, have developed a long-lasting tradition of assisting the Park District on Earth Day events, in particular at Washington Park. On April 21st, 2018, Scott coordinated a motivated crew of volunteers to tackle those steep slopes at Washington Park Ravine, where they collected over two, 26 large bags of garbage, which isn't an easy task. As always, we are proud that they selected us, and we want to thank Scott and Mark for uh, their service and their hard work. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You don't mind if I... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Touchy feely there, Mayfield. Touchy feely. Last well, nine. <laughs> okay. At this, at this time, I would like to introduce Caitlin Fisher, manager of sports and fitness. I would like to announce our coach of the year, um, John Reformando. He is not available to be with us this evening, so Pat Coleman will be accepting this in his honor. Um, John has been a familiar face with our Junior Bulldogs community. Um, he has served with us for three seasons. Um, he finally has been able to um, join us as a coach. His kids have always been in the league with us, and we finally were able to talk him into it. Um, <laughs> You can tell that he's been a coach at different districts before um, with his teams. His ability to really coach his players and get them to do exactly what he wants them to do um, shows in all of his games and practices. Um, we would like to congratulate John and thank him for all of his time and efforts in building our Junior Bulldogs program and creating ex an example for all of our parents and coaches who are able to witness his efforts. Thank you, John. Um, I would now like to ask Commissioner Jacqueline Ferrer -Huron, Huron and Mike Mayfield to come up to the podium for the Jack Benny um, Arts and Humanitarian Award. Jack Benny and Arts Humanities Award Resolution 2019-03, whereas Beverly Millard is a lifetime member of Waukegan Historical Society, having served as its volunteer since 1989, and is a supporter of historical research and preservation in the Waukegan community. And whereas Beverly Millard, with her passion in history, is instrumental in the success of Waukegan Historical Society and the John L. Raymond Research Library. And whereas Beverly Millard has volunteered an approximately 30,000 hours for the Waukegan Historical <laughs> and the Waukegan Park District, and whereas Beverly Millard has spent countless weekends and evenings assisting Waukegan High School students in their research for annual Chicago Metro History Fair project, and whereas Beverly Miller has helped people from all over the world in research, requests and site visits, and whereas Beverly Miller has been a member of the Oakwood Cemetery Walk since its inception in 1995, mm. and whereas Beverly Miller was the recipient of the Waukegan Park District Volunteer of the Year Award on February 8, 2005, and whereas Beverly Miller was the recipient of Illinois Parks and Recreation Association in 2007, Citizens Volunteer of the Year Award on January 22, 2007, and whereas Beverly Miller was the Grand Marshal of the Waukegan Independence Parade in 2007, and whereas Beverly Miller was recognized, <laughs> this woman has done a lot. <laughs> Tough to follow. Whereas Beverly Miller was recognized by the Lake County Women's Coalition of March 1st, 2014 in the Women of Character Courage and Commitment Ceremony. And now, therefore, it is resolved that the Board of Commissioners of the Waukegan Park District, upon nomination and recommendation of the staff of the Jack Benny Center for the Arts, be bestows the Jack Benny Arts and Humanities Award to Beverly Millard, a dedicated servant to the Waukegan Park District, and thank you for all that you do.
What's next? <laughs> Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. I have enjoyed being here as long as I have been and and glad that I'll be able to continue a little longer. <laughs> Thank you very much. picture or album of the year so um, at this time we definitely like to take time to recognize our uh, <laughs> okay I'm sorry for the awkward pause Okay, our volunteer of the year. Everyone, please join me. And when we ask representatives from uh, Growing Healthy People to join us up here, please, Growing Healthy People, our volunteers of the year. Please give them a round of applause. Yes, one more All right. So here's a resolution. We're at. Oh yeah, you get a resolution. Right. Whereas growing healthy people reached out to the Waukegan Park District with an idea of partnering to renovate the Bowen Greenhouse, and whereas growing healthy people's mission is to grow healthy food using sustainable methods, provide educational opportunities related to growing food, and ultimately preserve the planet. And whereas, Growing Healthy People partnered with the Waukegan Park District to submit a grant proposal to the Granger Foundation to fund the Bowen Greenhouse renovation and create an urban ag, ag lab, agricultural lab, uh, that would benefit Waukegan families. And whereas, Growing Healthy People's partnership with the Waukegan Park District was a successful in obtaining a grant of $22,950 uh, to create the Urban Agricultural Lab at the Bowen Park and three more whereas's. <laughs> whereas, Growing Healthy People led the development of the Greenhouse Renovation Plan and whereas Growing Healthy People provided skilled trade expertise and volunteers successfully refurbished the greenhouse by cleaning, by clearing and cleaning out the greenhouse, replacing the glass panels with, car, with polycarbonate panes, adding an automated watering system, reestablishing the automated venting system, installing a new heating unit, and repainting and refurbishing the greenhouse potting room. Basically, this was like HDTV, just like flipped his house. That's what they did. They did an amazing job of flipping that greenhouse. Um, whereas, due to the initiative and hard work of growing healthy people, the Urban Ag Lab at Bourne Greenhouse became a reality, officially opening on June 20th, 2018, and welcoming children and adults to participate in garden programs and experience. And finally, where's Jen Dumas? Because she loves this greenhouse. There she is. <laughs> right. <laughs> and now, therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of the Waukegan Park District, upon the nomination and recommendation of the staff, bestows the Volunteer of the Year Award to growing healthy people. Round of applause. We had two other people that could not make it tonight, and but we didn't know about mm -hmm. this. This was a surprise, Jen Dumas. One, two, three. One more, one, two, three. 
Congratulations. All right, everyone should stay up here. Okay, um, this concludes our program. I gotta say one more thing real quick. Chris Lanning and I actually graduated from high school together. I have not seen him since graduation night. That was 1996. So Chris, good to see you. And I'm always in a hurry. And I forget the page of the year. And for this one, um, I'm, I'm going to refer to our, our defer to our vice president, Ms. Janet Kill Kelly, to read the resolution for our patron of the year. Thank you. All right, our patron of the year is Eric Romano here. Whereas Eric Romero has made, been a tremendous supporter of the Waukegan Park District Special Recreation Area for many years. And whereas Eric Romero has jumped into the icy cold waters of Lake Michigan <laughs> on New Year's Day as part of the Polar Bear Plunge for six years in an effort to support a fundraiser for individuals with disabilities in Waukegan. And whereas Eric Romero has been an active and determined pledger for the Polar Bear Plunge every year. And whereas, Eric Romero has encouraged members of his union to donate to the cause and increase his pledging amounts every year since 2014. And whereas, Eric Romero's efforts to secure pledging goes be above and beyond every other individual pledgers and has raised the highest amount for the last six years. And whereas, Eric Romero has raised around $10,000 from 2014 to the 2019 budget. Eric Romero has never turned down a request to help publicize or spread the word about the Polar Bear Plunge fundraiser and why he participates. And whereas Eric Romero displays a giving heart and willingness to speak up for the individuals that may need extra assistance. And whereas Eric Romero deserves praise and recognition for his committed service to raising awareness and funds for individuals with disabilities in the Waukegan community. And now, therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of the Waukegan Park District, upon the nomination and recommendation of the staff, bestows the Patron of the Year Award to Eric Romero. tonight. Um, if you were uh, awarded a, an award tonight, please remain up for a picture with all of us here in the front. Okay? Okay. okay. Um, so, now, as I was saying earlier, this concludes <laughs> the program portion of our 2018 Volunteer and Patron Recognition event. We are grateful for all your contributions. Waukegan Park District and the community of Waukegan. Once again, thank you for, every, thank you for everything you do. Sincerely from all of us up here and the senior staff as you can see from what uh, Jay said We have so many exciting things going on um, Coming up in 2019 and beyond and we really really are family 
and we all work together, we stick together, and that's why we succeed, so we sincerely thank you. So on behalf of the entire Board of Commissioners, Executive Director Dave Lern Jay Lerner, <laughs> senior staff, and the rest of the Waukegan Park District staff, uh, Growing Healthy People representative, and Eric Romero, uh, would you do the winners and cut the cake? All right. All right, everyone else, I got the winner. Please come up to the front. Everyone else eat some cake and mingle. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. I want to hear you.